Hi guys and welcome to our YouTube channel. I'm Lottie from The Baby Barn and we're going to just chat about what useful things that you can have in your hospital bag. I'm going to go through the five things that I found really useful and I hope that you will too. So first one on the list is a spare pillow, as in like your bed pillow. So you want to feel really comfortable uh, wherever you're labouring. Um, and a spare pillow is really useful because one, the hospital beds probably won't have any more than just one pillow. But also, even if you do feel comfortable with just one pillow, your partner, they might be staying over with you. So you can give that to him or her because uh, they'll just probably be sleeping or snoozing in an upright chair and not have a luxurious bed. <laughs> so um, yeah, that's uh, the first one that I'd suggest is definitely taking your pillow with you. It also helps um, increase the oxytocin as well because it smells familiar. So you can put some lavender spray on it before you go as well. Um, so yeah, take a spare pillow with you. So the next one is taking a spare change of clothes that you don't mind getting a bit grubby. So um, this is just a spare set of like pajamas or comfy clothes. Um, maybe like a 90 for when you're in labour. Um, you'll probably go in there anyway with the idea of having like a, a pyjama set. But it's handy to just have a second set because, you know, if your waters haven't broken when you've gone in, um, it doesn't really matter. You can either just uh, put it in a plastic bag or throw it away. Um, so that's just a really, really useful tip that I wish I'd known <laughs> before, before I went in. So I actually had to lose a... a, a, a but a nice pair of shorts, <laughs> let's just leave it at that. <laughs> so uh, when I went into uh, labour, well, when, when I was pregnant with Freddie, we were planning on breastfeeding. Um, and so a uh, handy bit of um, kit is breast pads. So you might experience it when you're pregnant as well, but especially in those um, first couple of months of breastfeeding, your boobs leak, <laughs> basically. Um, and so it's really useful to just have them to hand uh, especially at the start of breastfeeding, um, if you haven't done it before, it can be really sore. And so the the best ones out there are the Tommy TP ones. I, I found them really, really soft, um, but also really absorbent. There are they're they're not the cheapest out there, but um, they're they're worth the extra money for the comfort that you'll you know um, you'll need in those first few weeks. So leading on from that, um, on the topic of breastfeeding, make sure you have as much stock of nipple cream as possible. The lanolin nipple cream I found really, really good. Uh, keep it away from nice clothes though, because um, it has stay, it, it can stain just because of the oils that's in it. So um, I'd highly recommend doing that if you're if you're breastfeeding, because. Um, you can never put too much on. It recommends just putting a pea size on, like a pea size uh, dollop on your finger and then uh, putting that on after, before or after free feeding. Um, but I found that just wasn't enough. And my cousin said, just, you can never put too much on. And it really, really did, it really, really helped me after having that advice. So there you go. So my final one that I'd suggest is taking um, some ready-made formula into hospital. Uh, the reason, no matter if you're planning to formula feed or breastfeed, it's always really handy. You can get them in four packs um, in any of the brands. Um, it doesn't really matter which brand you go for, but let's not start that debate anytime. <laughs> let's not start that debate now. Um, so yeah, I'd really recommend doing that mainly because um, it's just handy to have. Um, so your partner doesn't have to go out to the shop or into the hospital shop to get some. Um, and if you are breastfeeding and starting to breastfeed successfully, um, you might just want a bit of a break, get a bit of a snooze. Um, so your partner can then take over. So you make sure you, you, you've got that in your bag as well. So those are my top five things to have in the hospital, uh, in your hospital bag. So good luck with your labour. You'll be absolutely fine. You're really strong. Your body will get through this um, and just enjoy it. <laughs>